In the Kursk Oblast, Ukrainian troops repulsed a mechanized attack by the invaders using the captured Russian defense line. Units of the 129th Territorial Defense Brigade took up fortified positions built by the invaders on the Russian-Ukrainian border to rebuff the enemy offensive. A Russian mechanized assault group with a turtle tank equipped with a mine trawl was defeated on the outskirts of the city as a result of artillery strikes, mine explosions and drone strikes, according to Militani media outlet. The location of destroyed Russian vehicles was geolocated 1.5 kilometers east of the village of Plekovo, the Kursk Oblast, near a former Russian stronghold. Units of the 128th Territorial Defense Brigade have apparently deployed their main forces to these positions. Judging by the images, they were well dug in and intended for a circular defense. The enemy column marched towards them for almost three kilometers under artillery fire, but ran into an anti-tank ditch and a concrete block barrier where it was finished off. At the same time, the advance of the rushed assault vehicles was hampered by nearby barbed wire barriers, one kilometer away from main Ukrainian positions. Earlier, Militani told about large-scale fortification complexes built by the Russian military in the border area of the Kursk Oblast. In particular, the company stronghold of the 488th Motorized Rifle Regiment of the Russian Armed Forces consisted of dugouts and facilities connected by an extensive network of underground communications. Fortified from all sides, the stronghold was completely hidden underground. It was electrified and connected to other underground living quarters, a dining room, weapons storage facilities, as well as a bathhouse and toilet. Significant stocks of food, weapons and ammunition were found at the facility which the military could have used in a circular defense. Soldiers of the Security Service of Ukraine also captured 102 soldiers of the 488th Guards Motor Rifle Regiment, including conscripts. Since the beginning of the Ukrainian Armed Forces operation in the Kursk region, Russians have caused significant damage to the civilian infrastructure of Sudza. This was reported by Vadim Misnik, a spokesman for the Siversk OTG on the air of the Suspilny Novini Marathon. When our defense forces were taking control of the city, three to four buildings were almost damaged and Russian soldiers were knocked out of them, he said. However, now the Russian military has destroyed the ice palace, kindergartens, schools and banking institutions with shelling. They are destroying a lot of their own infrastructure. The spokesman stressed. He said that the Russian army continues to use multiple rocket launchers more intensively in the area of the Kursk region controlled by the defense forces than in Ukraine's Chernihiv, Sumy and part of Kharkiv regions. <laughs> The Russian full-scale invasion has resulted in the destruction or damage of nearly 1,000 libraries across Ukraine, according to the Commissioner for the Protection of the State Language, Taras Kremin. Since 2022, Russian forces have targeted and destroyed numerous cultural landmarks, libraries, museums and educational institutions across Ukraine. The Russian authorities also imposed Russian language curriculums in the occupied regions which promote narratives that deny Ukrainian sovereignty and attempt to erase historical and cultural distinctions between Russia and Ukraine. 
Russian attacks led to the widespread devastation and loss of over 200 million Ukrainian books, Kremlin reports. Kremlin has initiated a project called the Free Read in Ukraine to address this crisis. The initiative aims to replenish library collections, particularly in the heavily affected oblasts of Mykolaiv, Kherson, Zaporizhia, Donetsk, Luhansk, Kharkiv and Sumy. These areas are in urgent need of various types of literature in Ukrainian, including fiction, educational and historical works. Different Ukrainian organizations and schools across the country would be able to join the initiative to collect books for these libraries. Our goal is to restore library collections to the maximum extent and establish this as a state priority, Kremlin stated. In May, a Russian missile attack destroyed a printing house in Kharkiv, killing seven workers and burning 50,000 books, mostly children's materials. The destroyed printing house, Faktor Druk, was associated with Vivat Publishing and produced educational and children's content. It should be noted that two years ago, Planet Labs made headlines with incredible photos being beamed back to Earth in real time, showing the horrors of war that Putin has brought to Ukraine. One of the co-founders of Planet Labs, Will Marshall, said that Russia's attempt to occupy Ukraine was documented by a photo from his satellite and his campaign is documenting the atrocities of the Russian armed forces in real time, Forbes reports. Planet Labs has entered into a pact with NATO to help avoid future global conflicts. The company currently has up to 200 satellites circling the Earth, which will help eliminate the possibility of a surprise attack on one country or another. The support that Europe and the United States have for Ukraine continues in part because everyone can see what's going on through these satellite images, Marshall said.